Deepy Dip was the first track I made after I decided it was time to come back to house music again and my own project. I thought it would be cool to show you guys how I made the track, share some samples and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So it all started with this sound. Super weird, didn't really have any pitch, so I thought, okay, let's try and make something out of it. I really wanted to make a track that had a bit of a tech housey sort of vibe, because I've been really listening a lot to Fisher, Camel Fat, Chris Lake, and that sort of stuff recently. So it was a big challenge trying to implement that into my own sound. I think that's one of the most important parts of music to keep developing, keep pushing yourself and doing new stuff. Usually ends up well, especially that one time I tried skateboarding for the first time. So anyways, it started with that sound and then I added like a sort of slap delay, some reverb, distortion to make it bigger and more like festival friendly. So it sounds like this. I couldn't really figure out a cool melody or rhythm thing because the sound was really weird. So I started looking for a vocal sample to maybe spark some ideas and I found this sample that I had sampled a while ago that of some guy saying dip, dip, I dip. Having that vocal part really helped. It like sparked some ideas and I was able to figure out some sort of melody rhythm sort of thing that eventually kickstarted the whole track. Took a lot of work with the pitching to get it to be in any key whatsoever, but eventually it worked out and this is how it sounds with just the synth and the vocal together. But it sounds sort of flat and I had to get the groove right, so what really helped was adding this sub layer that hit in between the notes, which works like this. And then further on to help with the groove, adding white noises, the claps, snares, and to fill out the empty space in between, adding bass wobble sort of stuff. Which really helped glue the track together and give it some uh, groove. Now for the second part of the drop, it's actually the same sound, just modulated heavily inside of the synth, which is called Diva. I literally just spent way too many hours tweaking buttons, not really knowing what I was doing until something sounded cool. And this is how that sounds. Now, I have to open another project right now because uh, I had to render everything out into a new project. It was too much for the computer to handle. So I finally got the other project opened. It was just to show you guys this last thing of the drop. What I added to the second drop synth to make it more interesting and move more. It sounds like this. Now what that literally is, is lots and lots of automations of delay and reverb, which are then pitched individually to make it sound a bit more interesting. So. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the drop. All the samples I've just shown can be downloaded from the link in the description. I've included pretty much everything from the drop. Next week, I'll explain the rest of the track, explain the story of how it went from a finished track until it was released on Hexagon Records. I'll share more of the samples, of course. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys next week.